Okay, greetings everyone. This is First Centurion 753 with another episode of Geopolitical Simulator 4 um, S Kurdish Syrian Rebels. And we are, let's take a look at the big map here, zoom out for a second. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we're involved in internal struggles in Syria. We are the Kurdish Rebels. We control territory in the northeast as well as the northwest. Currently, I am launching basically a two-pronged assault on Syria. I've got armies moving into the uh, city of Haram here, and I've also got them attacking uh, Raqqa. Uh, so we've got some big advancements here, some bold moves. Uh, trying to be aggressive. I'm trying to stay mobile, because that was the recommendation. And uh, just looking at the city. That's a big city. We can take a look at the battle, actually. Battle in the city. Uh, we are advancing towards their military headquarters. We almost have the city captured uh, completely. So that city is going to be secured, probably, for the Kurdish uh, side. Oh, and by the way, uh, this past week I went and got a video card, so if you notice the uh, graphics have been up, that's why I haven't been posting anything all week, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy better graphics now. And uh, let's take a look, here's the other battle that we have to concern ourselves with, and the balance of power seems to be in our favor. Um, yes. I don't think I really have to worry too much about my positions here. I'm just going to send one group into the bank. And, uh, eh, I'll pull out of there. I'm, I'm going to let them manage uh, the tactical situation themselves. And I think what I need to do is start advancing the rest of my troops. Apparently unseen. Yeah, so one of my biggest concerns was um, that the general said that we should make sure we are not seen. So that tells me that we should remain mobile. Um, so I'm going to start moving some forces, continue to advance some forces into enemy territory. I am concerned that if I send too many forces in, uh, that will leave my s territory exposed for attacks from other potential enemies. But I definitely should get these guys, some of these guys moving, I think. And I don't actually have to send the entire force. I can kind of reduce the amount that I want to send. There we go. They also can build bases in other territories. So I think I may want to look to establish bases elsewhere. Alright, I'm going to take... Uh, close to half of this group, I think. And just trying to try to continue to advance and keep my uh, units moving. Again, I have control over this city here. Looks pretty good. And, um... I wonder if I can take Aleppo. This is a pretty strategic city in Syria. So I think I'm going to start moving some forces to Aleppo. Let's send about 2,000 armed citizens from this city. Oh, what is that? 
That's an airbase? That's an Iraqi airbase. I can't attack the Iraqi airbase. Oh no, that's a Syrian airbase. Syrian government airbase. Syria has control over Aleppo. Aha. Okay. So, I think I'm really going to try to capture uh, this region right here. Because a lot of these territories are controlled by the jihadist group. And if we can expand against the jihadist Syrians, then maybe we can actually take over some territory and carve out a country. I'm hoping. I'm not sure how I'm going to pull this off. I don't necessarily want to go to war with Syria itself, because I'm concerned that they're going to have support of the Russians. Um, but I'm okay with weakening the ISIS faction. I don't know, should I go to war with Syria? I think I should concentrate on capturing a town. Let's focus on capturing a town first. And let's also work some of our diplomacy. Let's check out the contacts here. Ecuador. I can arrange a meeting with Ecuador. Let's see what they have to offer. Maybe they can introduce us to somebody else. Um... Because we were introduced to the Cyprus Green Coalition, which is interesting. I think it was the Lebanon Social Front that introduced us to the Cyprus Green Coalition. And I guess if we can improve relations with them, and a and they end up taking over power in Cyprus, then that would be pretty favorable to our situation, I guess. I'm assuming. Again, I'm all this is all new to me, so if anyone has any recommendations for anything uh, or suggestions, feel free to post them down below. I am going to stay away from the Israeli-Palestine conflict, I think. I'm going to try to avoid those two for now. And I'm just going to try to make as many contacts as possible. Possibly get financial support for my movement. And uh, maybe military support. And maybe get recognition as a country. Who knows? Let's see what happens. Definitely moving slow, though, for now. And I guess the biggest concern is this battle here right now, because we were winning the uh, harm battle. Oh, we're definitely winning this battle, too. I'm not too concerned with the battles for now. I'd like to see actually a military base set up. What do we got here? Organization budget management is essential to its survival and development. It consists okay. of work from espionage attempts and attacks by the enemy. Allocating I did try to turn down the volume, and, and I may have turned down his volume a little bit too much. Money on so I might have to uh, go back and adjust that a little bit. Military equipment and hiring professional fighters. Looks like uh, budget management is essential to the survival and development. Protecting the network from espionage, which I think we're doing. Infiltrating and forming alliances with influential people. Spending money to communicate on communication to draw new supporters, buying military equipment, and hiring professionals. Hmm. What I'd like to see is this unit establish a base here in this enemy territory. Because this city is controlled, we control the city. So, really, this should be ours. 
I would think. We are supposedly still... We have the balance of power here. Let's see. Capture the military base. I don't see anybody defending it, so we wiped everybody out. Let's move these guys into different territories. Police station, museum, market square. The more we capture, the more control over the city we have. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that. Right there, court of law. Police headquarters. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we control the military headquarters here. Main square. Send somebody to the main square. Okay, our four-way into enemy territory has had some impact. Their units have fled to another zone of control. Interesting. Looks like we're winning. Oh, there's some fighting going on there. Yuck, I didn't realize that was going to happen. Okay. They're going to come up on an enemy first, probably. Looks like you can't see all the enemies. Okay, we got uh, 514,000 from uh, Lebanon. And I don't see any enemies here. I'm just going to... Uh-oh, there they are. Alright, this is going to be tough. I'm going to pull myself out of this and go back to the strategic front. Alright, good amount, good amount of cash supported there. An organization that is considered illegal in its own country must try and get foreign support. That could be with other groups, sister political parties, or countries that support the cause. These contacts could lead to financial connections with UN diplomats. That's what I really need. That would really help the situation, I think. Okay, so hopefully we can uh, win the battle in that city. How's this battle going? Looks like I found something here. This looks like a enemy camp. And I think we're fighting. Or are we getting killed? Is this not a battle? Let's check the newspaper. Okay, Battle of Harm, we took care of that. Battle of... Uh, I don't see any other battles really. United States. No news from them. No one really getting involved in this conflict. Israel. Special services, state security services considered to be very effective. Yeah, I've looked at the newspaper in the other game in Masters of Command, Masters of uh, the World, and I'm not sure um, 
exactly what a lot of these things mean, especially in foreign countries. I kind of had an understanding of what was going on domestically, but there's a lot of information here to go through. Um, I think I'm just going to send these mercenaries towards or redirect them towards uh, this battle. If I can figure out how to redirect. Allocate, move, and attack. Switch to 3D camera mode. Whoa. That's cool. Oh, man. Look at this. Can I zoom in? I can't zoom in on that. Alright, I'm trying to move these uh, guys to attack. Let's get the game rolling. Whoa! For some reason I can't uh, click on these guys. Alright, let's go to a meeting with uh, one of the diplomats. Here we go. Ecuador. Uh, offer them coffee. They gotta like that. No! No, we don't like coffee. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. This looks like an interesting option. Urge him to submit a resolution against your country to the UN. Against your country? Asking the fund your organization against your country because you're trying to overthrow the government of your country. Hmm. I guess that's what they're saying there. Ask him to fund your organization. That would be nice. Ask him to take military action against your country. I don't think I'm going to ask Ecuador to do that. Ask him to supply you with weapons. Let's look at asking him to fund the organization I'm first. Sorry, but oh, disagree on some points. What about asking him to uh, supply weapons? I'm sorry, no, I'm you're not interested in that either. Um, what about submitting a resolution to the UN? I'm sorry, but nope. I am in a video game. Um, okay, so... Yeah, nothing really worked out with that diplomat. I guess we were barking up the wrong tree there. Okay, I gotta get out of this um, view somehow. Wait a minute, that's not what I want to do. Nope. Okay, I definitely went into this 3D map mode and everything is just stalled on me here. I can't move around. This is a mistake, and I can't get out. Alright, so this is pretty chaotic. I am going to end this episode at 18 minutes and uh, try to figure out <laughs> what's going on here. Uh, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.